Hey folks, how's it going huh? Back again with another video. You probably know how to export the rendered images right? If not, check out this video and jump to rendering process via timestamp. Then come back to this video. Alright, now that you know how to export the rendered image, what if we can export rendered video with environment around it with little animation too? Sounds interesting, isn't it? Trust me, this is going to be amazing. Without further ado, let's get started. Here we are in Fusion 360. I'm gonna begin by enabling joints. Here you can observe the joints used for assembling this model. This is a revolute joint and we are going to animate this joint using motion study. Now I want you to select the motion study under assemble drop down. So here we have motion study dialog box open. Now you need to select the joint for motion study and they must not be rigid joints. For now. I am selecting this revolute joint. Since it is a revolute joint, we can drive this easily by altering the angles at equal intervals. Select a point here on this line. It asks you to enter the angle. I am entering 360 degrees. Or it means that it rotates 360 degrees for 19 frames. Press enter to confirm the angle. Now select another point having same distance and enter the angle like we previously did. I am going with 720 degrees. Enter to confirm. Then repeat the same for all the intervals. Note that you have to keep the equidistance or nearly so to have nice and clean animation. Once you are done with all the angles, you can play the motion study to have a look at it. You can select the loop to repeat the motion again and again. You can modify the angles if you want a different motion but for now I am happy with it. Click OK to confirm the motion link. Now that we have added the motion study. Let's switch to render workspace and have a look at the model. I've already added the appearance and the environment. If you haven't experienced rendering yet, check out the link number 1 in the description and go to rendering process via timestamp. Here we have our render gallery. Your renderings will appear here. For now, let's hide the render gallery and set the view how you want your render to look like. You can use orbit pan to make it look better. This view looks good for me. Once you are happy with the view, click on render settings. I would like to produce the render in high resolution. I am going with print 8.4 MP. Because this is high resolution, I am gonna choose cloud render for render quality. I want it to be final. It tells me that cloud traits required for the render. If you have those, go ahead. If not, try adjusting the resolution. Click on render. Then it saves the document automatically and sends the data to the cloud. If you notice here, that your rendering process was added to the gallery. If you click on this, it shows you the progress. Wait until it completes or you can check later once it is done. It shows you the preview and if you click on that, it opens the image within Fusion which is ready to export. You may have exported it as PNG, JPEG or whatever. If you notice here, there is an extra option added here. It says that motion study. Keep in mind that it only shows when there are motion studies in the file. If not, you'd probably see it like this. For now, we have created motion study thus it enables for us. Click on it to open the motion study rendering settings. Do note that we have a warning here which say cloud credits exceeded. If that is the case, you can reduce the resolution until our render option enables. You can buy the cloud credits to export it in high resolution. I'm gonna reduce my resolution to 63.7 MP. For this, the render option enables because it requires 16 cloud credits. Click on render to generate the motion study. You can see that motion study was added to the rendered gallery. If you open it, it says that the time required for processing it is less than 10 minutes. Come back after 10 minutes, have a cup of coffee. When you're done, have a look at the result. Now that it is processed, let's open it. Now play the motion study. This preview looks too slow because it uses Fusion to play it. Let's export it as a video to our local computer and save it in desired location. Now when you play it, it won't look that bad. Still it is too slow. One thing you can do is either you can increase angle in motion study or you can speed it up the export using some other video editing softwares. I hope this helps you a lot. If so, consider liking us. We've got more interesting videos for you. If you like sculpting, then this video is probably for you. If you like generative design, then you should check out this video. If you are more into automobiles, then you must watch this video. 
do not forget to subscribe our channel to get notified thanks for watching i'll see you in next video until then bye bye